You know what's the best thing about this week? For years, okay, for two decades, the Vikings have suffered <laughs> with subpar kickers. <laughs> uh. Not anymore! <laughs> the curse has moved on! I laughed when he missed two kicks. I was uh, like, Eddie Pinata. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of our expert NFL expert. take, where we talk all that is the NFL, but mainly the seven and one Green Bay Packers. And because of the refs and oh my gosh, the on a roll, on fire, Minnesota Vikings. The one step below six and two Minnesota Vikings. <laughs> yeah, here we go. So we are both four and oh in the past yes, four games and it feels good. It, it does feels great. Winning is fabulous. Winning is fun. <laughs> so the Vikings played first Thursday night, Thursday night. And uh, what a boring game. <laughs> yeah, nothing exciting happened. It was at all. Yeah. It was just like, oh, we won. I mean, it's cool. That was great. Like, we got the W, yeah. you know? So. No, I, Stefan Diggs on that first drive, I was oh. over at my in laws. My mother in law, I mean, anytime somebody gets past 10 yards, <laughs> is just up and screaming at the TV. <laughs> and he fumbles the ball, and she, ah! she literally sits down and looks at my father in law. She's like, I'm going to go into the bedroom. Like, I, I'm <laughs> not, not, I'm not going to sit here and watch this game oh. if this is how it, So I had to talk yeah. her off the ledge a little bit. I was yep. like, it's the Washington Reds. Don't worry. Don't worry. There's nothing. <laughs> Thing to worry about. Yeah. <laughs> they turned it around. All was right in the world. I, I mean, I will say I liked Case Keenum when he played for us. Yeah, he was playing. He was playing pretty well. He was playing pretty well other than the one pass in the red zone <laughs> where he literally could have ran four <laughs> yards into the end zone, but oh, he just yeah. like throws it ah! at the ground at the feet of one of his guys. Yeah. He's like, hey, this ain't your first rodeo. You've uh. done this before. So I was watching critically. I should say listening critically mm. because the dynamic duo of Joe Buck and Troy Aikman <laughs> were on call. So yeah. I had to pay attention to that one. And I caught something funny that Joe Buck spilled out of his mouth oh. referring to the Minneapolis miracle as the Vikings walk off home run. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Buck can't even keep his sports straight. You're anymore. calling football, Joe. Speaking of Joe Buck, the Babylon Bee is this great like satirical news site or whatever, and they released an article the day of the Vikings game. Fox apologizes after accidentally turning on Joe Buck's microphone. <laughs> <laughs> well, the Vikings uh, walked through the super boring game, but that's that puts a stamp on four zero in the past four. Yeah. So the Packers, yes, also take another W yeah. Sunday night football against the Chiefs, and I was there. You I, were there. I Drove on down to Kansas City. In person, Arrowhead. In person, I went with my buddy. Get this. Michael Michelson is his name. Michael Michelson. Yep, that's a fun one. Go pack, baby. I'll tell you, it, it felt like it could have been Lambeau Field because the place was flooded with green and gold. Ugh. There were so many Packer fans there. Yuck. It was a good game. Kansas you know, City kept it a game, forth. that's for sure. Yeah. Matt Moore came out and like step for step, Aaron Rodgers. You, Stats yeah. were basically the same except for just one less touchdown. He can't make miraculous touchdown passes. That was such so. a stupid <laughs> throw. Let me it was a perfect run throw. away 10, 15 yards back from the line of scrimmage, fall, chuck it sidearm, and let me make it in a window about this big in the back corner of the end zone. Like, God dang it, Aaron Rodgers, I just hate you so much. If you didn't watch the game, Aaron Rodgers had one great touchdown pass that oh everybody's talking about gosh. where he runs out to the right and as he's falling, even the announcers, everybody thought, oh, Aaron Rodgers, he's just throwing the ball away. He doesn't he's have anybody to throw at a 45 degree <laughs> angle to the earth. <laughs> and he just tosses the ball up. Everybody thought he was throwing it away and it just drops into a receiver's hand in the God. back of the end zone. <laughs> it's so frustrating. It is frustrating week after week to see just stupid plays like that work in your favor. Uh, it Well, they also had some well-constructed plays, and Aaron Jones, the running back, holy cow, what a night for him. You uh, want to talk about Dalvin Cook and blah, blah, blah. Aaron well, he's Jones. clearly superior, yes. Yeah, okay. Well, who has more touchdowns? Aaron Jones. Oh, my gosh. What matters in the NFL? The touchdowns. You could get 300 yards in a game and not score a touchdown. You could get four yards in a game and score four touchdowns. Emmett Smith was pretty good at that. <laughs> So anyway, they come away with the win. I was there in the flesh. It was a great time, surrounded by Packer fans. And as we were walking out, we're all filtering out of the stadium, and yep. it literally looks like a sea of green. We just played the Kansas City Chiefs, and there's an uproar chant from all the Packer fans. All it was was, bears still suck. <laughs> <laughs> 
In a city not connected to Chicago, whatever. <laughs> not even close. And a game not connected to Chicago. We're well, seven and one, just beat the Chiefs and the Bears still. So. <laughs> at Chicago, <laughs> you, you had a chance. With seconds left in your game, 41 yard field goal. Mm. You shanked the ball. You pulled a good old Minnesota Vikings. <laughs> Wait a minute. We need to start calling it something different now. That's it's, right. It's moved on from the Vikings. Yeah. The curse the bad kicking for 20 years has been transferred to yes. a Chicago. Yes. So, Couldn't even be more happy about that. Chicago falls to three and four, and they are in last place <laughs> in the <laughs> NFC North. Bear down. He lines up for the kick, and you couldn't get the walk off home run. <laughs> you couldn't get it. <laughs> we are atop the division. Clearly. Which, we're halfway through the season. Yep. So, in the first episode that we did, when the season started, you yep. had the Packers going 0-16. <laughs> I'm thinking, as we enter the second half of the season, we, we should give you a chance to redo your picks if you'd like that. Alright, alright. Let's, Kay. let's, midway through, clean slate, let's just go to the second half of the season. What's the schedule? And I'll tell you, we'll, win or lose. I will read you off the Packers schedule. Get ready for my expert take. Okay, so the Packers just beat the Chiefs on Sunday Night Football. Next Next week, they go to Los Angeles to play the Chargers. Loss. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. All right. Let's be serious. Fine, fine. As much as it hurts me to say, they'll win. Okay, so that's a win. Packers go eight and one. One week before the bye week, they're back in Green Bay against the Carolina Panthers. Simply because they're at home. That'll be another win. Okay. So the Packers are going nine and one, rolling into the bye week. Coming out of the bye week, they are traveling to San Francisco. Loss. To play the 49ers. Loss. Loss. Uh, going to New York to play the Giants. Yeah, they'll win. Okay, so they're at 10 and 2. Then they got the Redskins coming to Green Bay. Yep, that'll be a win. So they're going to be, what is that, 11 and 2? <sighs> Yuck. They got Chicago coming in the Green Bay. Ooh, that's a win. So 12 and 2. Yep. Going to Minneapolis. Oh, loss. <laughs> oh, <laughs> loss. Loss. Oh, so 12 and 3 going into the last week of the yep. season, and they're going to Detroit. Ooh. I'm going to say a loss. Ooh. Okay, 12 and 4. Yeah. So Packers go from 0 and 16 from the first video. Halfway through the season, they are now 12 and 4. That changed. <laughs> Let's see if I want to change some of mine. Let's go through the Viking, Viking schedule. schedule. At Chiefs. Uh, Matt Moore played pretty good against Packers. Xavier Rhodes is trash. Amen to that. <laughs> I think the Chiefs win that one. Uh, at the Cowboys? Uh, Vikings. That uh, is a Sunday night game. That's Prime great. Prime time. That Kirk doesn't Cousins change. has turned the corner. <laughs> that doesn't change the fact that they're playing a dem boys. <laughs> Vikings are going to win that one. Okay. Sticking with that. At home against the Broncos. Vikings. Okay. So that's eight and three going into the bye. I think I had them have the, the first video I said eight wins total. That's going to change right now. At the Seahawks. I'm still going to give that one to Seattle. Oh, uh, Lions at home. Vikings. Okay. At the Chargers. This is one I'm changing because the Chargers have not looked the mm -hmm. way I thought they would. Yes. So the Vikings. The Packers two <laughs> days before Christmas at home. U.S. Bank Stadium. Tie. <laughs> That's a loss for the Vikings. Go Pack Go. And then to wrap up the season, Bears at Vikings. <laughs> <laughs> Chicago, you're <laughs> you're gonna lose that one. Too. <laughs> so eleven and five. So from eight and eight to, to 11, eleven and five. five. Okay, our teams are pretty good. All right, let's let's give the people our playoff picture. Oh, okay. So I think who's gonna win the divisions? Yes. First, you want to start with AFC or NFC? Let's, AFC will be quicker. Yeah, I would start with. <laughs> let's start with the trashy AFC. <laughs> AFC East. Uh, I have the Patriots winning that one. I have the Patriots winning it all. <laughs> yeah, I know. So, the yes. Patriots are winning the Super Bowl. Yes. Uh, AFC South. Mm -hmm. I got the Colts. I agree. So Colts. Colts, Colts okay. win it. AFC North. Uh, we had high hopes for the Browns <laughs> going into the season. <laughs> And uh, the Pittsburgh Steelers, despite, you know, beating the Dolphins on Monday Night Football, will still not win that division. Ravens will win the AFC. Uh, definitely will. Lamar Jackson's pretty hot right now. AFC West, even with an injured Patrick Mahomes, it's only for a couple more weeks. The Chiefs will win the AFC West. The Chiefs West. will win. So well, there's, there's basically only two good teams in the whole AFC. AFC, okay. who do you got for a number one seed? <laughs> 
<laughs> Patriots. Patriots. Chiefs, Colts, or Ravens? Chiefs. Chiefs, number Chiefs, two. Chiefs, number two. So Patriots, yep. Chiefs, and then Ravens or Colts? I'd, I'd take the Ravens over the Colts. Okay, three seed Ravens. So yep. you put Colts in the number four seed. Yep. What you got for wild cards? Who cares? <laughs> It matters. No, it doesn't. Okay. <laughs> For the sake of calling it, I'm going to say the Bills and the Jaguars will get the sixth seed. Oh, mustache bandana <laughs> boy. A gardener in Yes. Let's flip over to the NFC side. Now, this is going to be much more challenging. The NFC is stacked. The, the NFC has good teams. Yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> NFC West, uh, I still think 49ers are going to hold on. 49ers will win the NFC West. Okay. NFC South, Buccaneer, oh. Buccaneers going to make a comeback. <laughs> Jameis Winston. <laughs> no, definitely the Saints. Uh, the Saints for sure. Kay. Clearly. NFC East. Flip a coin. They're all losers. <laughs> they're all. They are so bad. Hey, every week, the NFL posts, here's your division leaders. Yeah. The <laughs> NFC is all seven wins and above, except for the NFC East. Them boys. <laughs> uh, them boys. Four and three. Uh, that's leading that's the division. embarrassing. Uh, I think the Cowboys might hang on. Mm. I, I think the Eagles will take that division. Okay. Philly fans suck. Oh, geez. We got one division left, and that is uh, the North, our oh, division. clearly the Vikings are going to win the division. Clearly. <laughs> yep, clearly no competition. <laughs> None whatsoever. Uh, you know what sucks is the refs have helped the Packers. Oh, my God. <laughs> Let it go. <laughs> and so, unfortunately, that's just going to continue the whole time because the refs helped them early on in the season. That's just going to continue. So as much as this pains me to say... Yes! <laughs> go Pack Go! Ugh. He thinks the Packers are going to win the NFC North. Ugh. Let's look at our playoff picture for the NFC. We, yeah, who's getting the two wild cards? I think I'd put the Vikings at a six seed, and I'll put the Seahawks at a five seed. As long as the Vikings are in the playoffs. Yeah, yeah. That's fine, because we can beat everybody. So, who's... who? <laughs> Right. So who's the number one seed in the NFC? You got Packers, Saints, Niners, or Eagles? The Saints are going to end up taking the number one seed. We agree. We may differ on this one. Who's got mm. the two seed? Oh, yuck. I don't want to say it. Oh, oh, you agree with me? I don't want to say it. Let's hear it. Who's getting a first round bye and the number two seed? <laughs> Packers. <laughs> Yes! God <laughs> damn The it. Green Bay Packers. So that means we both agree the 49ers are the three seed. Whoever wins the NFC East will be the four seed. That's the unfortunate part because you're going to have just clearly a trash team yes. getting the number four seed when there are plenty of other teams in the NFC who deserve it. They're, if we if beat the, the 49ers, and you'd have to go to New Orleans as the sixth seed. But if you get past them and the Packers win, that's oh. a Viking Packer NFC championship Oh team. my gosh, that is the Super Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> That is bigger than any Super Bowl. Oh, yuck. That's fine. I'd love to see you cry. <sighs> we will see how it goes. Let us know your predictions for this week. Let us know your predictions for the rest of the season. Leave us a like. Leave us a comment. Subscribe because we will be back. Oh, we will be back. <laughs>